right here, the first one being the Arkham Knight, and what we know about him is he's the commander of this immense military force that has invaded Gotham City. So talk us through how the reality of his role in the game has influenced the design of him as a character. So his role in the game, like ultimately, he works with Scarecrow to, to take down the bat. Yeah. So his design was ultimately made just for that role. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's got a very military look to him. Yeah. Like he's got the antennas that reflect the, the bad ears. Yeah. It's kind of a mockery of the Batman. Uh -huh. um, he can pull it off as well. He also has this visor that has all sorts of information about what's going on in the city. Okay. You know, like, um, like with all the drones that are tracking everything that's happening in the city. Yeah. So, so that's his, his role. Right. And on the other hand, he, he's also a very military dude, right? So he's wearing this camouflage, and that's like it's being cloned so the message we're trying to send with this design is he's come back stronger than ever meaner than ever yeah. it took ages to develop his face and the hood and the way everything works together like the skin it's got and it's falling off with like, strings and yeah. he's got this evil look like almost like you cannot have a real connection with his eyes right. he's always always keeping himself inside yeah. you can see he wears all the fear toxin all around him. It's like that's his armor, that's also his weapon. He kind of wraps himself in fear toxin.